change anything. I mean anything. I would change everything. What's up, Golden Guys? This is Tiger Knee Crush, aka the Gold King, and welcome back to some more E3 2018 discussions. If you have not seen my last few videos, definitely check it out. Now, lately, I've been discussing uh, my top games that were announced at E3 2018. The last video I touched on uh, Super Smash Brothers Ultimate, which I believe is the third best game announced at E3 2018. Again, uh, some people might think that's crazy. Like some, I know a lot of people probably have that at number one, especially looking at my list. Like, why the hell is that not number one? Again, I say I'm biased. I mean. I mean, hey, I ranked Kingdom Hearts 3 as number one. There's a lot of Kingdom Hearts fans out there. I'm a Kingdom Hearts fan. It's my favorite game series. Like I said, I'm biased. But yeah, definitely check out those videos and check out the playlist down below. But today's video is going to be the final, um, well, maybe. I think it's going to be the last video where I talk about the games that were announced at E3 2018 for now. And this is what I believe is the fourth best game that was announced at E3 2018. Let's go back down the list real quick before we start and I announce the game. Well, you probably already see the title of the video. Number one on my list was Kingdom Hearts 3 for obvious reasons like i said before i am biased it's my favorite game series of all time like above everything else it's my favorite game series so of course i'm excited about that of course i think that's the best thing that came out of e3 in probably decades bro honestly number two was kind of like a dark horse type of thing uh dark horse meaning as like i feel like it's kind of under the radar but people are still hyper about it i'm definitely hyper about it it's this game called jump force it's basically a collaboration game of um all the anime characters goku naruto luffy one piece dragon ball uh death notes i know there's been games like that before but like i said in that video this game looks uh it looks definitely more polished it looks like the fighting mechanics looks like it looks fun it's exactly as i said uh fighting games like we need a game to like have fun in and jump force looks like it's gonna be really fun so that's number two on my list like i said earlier number three is smash brothers for obvious reasons uh S smash brothers you know you already know what you're gonna get with smash brothers it's gonna be a fun time you're gonna be whooping up on your friends asses like it's gonna be a lot of competitive like juices flowing when you're playing that game it's a lot of fun it has a long history of fun it sells consoles of so of course it's going to be top three it should be number one according to you know a lot of other people who aren't as crazy as my ass but with number four i feel like this fits in in the perfect spot it's something that's kind of uh you know it definitely has hype behind it it definitely has a fan base it definitely has it definitely has reason to be a top game that was announced at e3 2018 that is devil may cry 5 i like when i was watching the um playstation press conference who who i forgot whose conference it was it's been some weeks now but it caught me by complete surprise like out of nowhere man because uh a few years back they they rebooted devil may cry it was just called devil may cry right like the newest game uh, that came out it was called devil may cry had dante with black hair looking emo some people didn't like that so i never would expect it that they would uh you know just say forget all of that basically how like dragon ball did with gt even though it was never canon anyway but they said forget all of that we're gonna continue on with like the the numerical um sequels i thought devil may cry 2 was gonna come out know what i'm saying like the reboot all right so if you don't know anything about devil may cry devil may cry is a game that came out some years ago probably a decade ago um i never completed the first three games i definitely played all three of them because i had like the little collection on 360 back in the day uh i did complete the reboot version which was very funny even though a lot of people don't like that black hair emo dante uh but yeah it's it's basically a fighting game fighting adventure platformer um gun slinging type of game sword slashing like if you enjoy like um action like platforming type of games then you're definitely gonna enjoy devil may cry it's definitely over the top um huge combo strings you can get in there devil may cry is known for its insane combos looking at the trailer right now um like if if you're yeah, because i'm not like a hardcore devil may cry fan I'm more on the casual side, probably a little bit ahead of casual, uh, but I definitely love the series, I definitely love playing it, I definitely love the characters. Um, when I first saw the trailer, looking at it now, I thought it was Dante, like I thought I thought this character right here is Dante, you can see he has the white hair, he has the blue jacket, Dante wears a red jacket. So I was like, hmm, and I look closer, and I see his sword, and I see his arm, and that's Nero, bro. Like, I, I know it's probably obvious to a lot of y'all because, like I said, there's probably some hardcore Devil May Cry fans out there watching this video. Like I said, I'm just, you know, I never completed the first three games. I, I, I think I'll beat four. I think I'll beat four, and that's how I know Nero. Nero got the little um, arm adjust, arm, mechanical arm thing. Uh, he also has, like, the sword where you got, like, the squeeze trigger on it. I, I feel like I'm just fucking up the whole series for everybody. Like, I'm not knowledgeable. I, I probably lost all credibility 
just <laughs> just trying to name the weapons that this man has but anyway like i thought it was dante it's really cool to see him oh dante is actually at the end of the trail i didn't even catch that son son okay i just i just watched the trailer over again on my um on my tv but i didn't catch that bro but dante dante is at the end okay so he got he got his long white hair he got his, his like facial hair that's that's lit man but again like i was so like confused because um they've rebooted they've rebooted like the whole series they they released a game called devil may cry black hair dante they even made fun of the white hair dante like they had my man you know, at the carnival um stage, like the white wig flew on his head. He was like, "Yeah, never in a middle million years or some shit like that." Like they came, they came at the fans. They came at the old Dante that we knew and love, just to release Devil May Cry 5, continuing the story from Devil May Cry 4. I assume it's also been a while since I played Devil May Cry 4, so I don't really know. Uh, again, I don't even, I don't even remember if I beat it or not. But just, just Devil May Cry in general was such a great game to play. Like even if you don't take like the story seriously, which I kind of don't at this point because, like I said, I've never beat one, two, or three. Devil May Cry one was hard as fuck. I fucking hate that game, but I love it at the same time. That shit is fucking difficult. Uh, Devil May Cry two, same thing. Three, same thing. Um, four, I like four a lot because like Nero, Nero actually, I like I grew, I grew on Nero. Um, of course, I still have, I love for Dante. Dante is my favorite character uh, but Nero is definitely up there Virgil is definitely up there as well uh, down below let me know your favorite Devil May Cry character between those three or you know any other character I don't really know I know there's some female characters I don't oh uh, Trish that's that's a character um, I need to go back I, I need to go back and play all the other games <laughs> I'm gonna right, look I'm gonna go back play all the other games and then come back to this video like with the knowledge of all Devil May Cry gods all right deal is that a deal anyway I'm super excited for this game um it's always nice to have you know some action like this e3 has been so hyped for me especially because like it legit has all of the favorite you know things like that's lined up like it got kingdom hearts it got anime games jump force i fucking love anime it got smash brothers everybody loves smash brothers like that's a given and it has the return of dove may cry the, the return of nero why does he sound like Dante though? Like, did, did his voice always sound like that? Or, I don't know. But yeah, that has been the Devil May Cry 5 trailer. Again, super excited for the release of that. 20, spring 2019, yeah, it's gonna be lit. But the whole 2019 year is gonna be insane. Like, like I said, all of those games, and even more games that I didn't list or um, had or made a video for. There's a lot of games to be hyped over. Um, these are just my favorite games that stuck out to me uh, based on my bias, you know? Also, shout out to my new subscribers. We're super, super close to um, 1.4K, which is close to 2,000 subscribers. If you enjoyed this video, do not delay it. Go ahead, hit that subscribe button now for more, you know, video game content, E3 content, Devil May Cry content. Because, like, when these games release, I'm definitely going to be playing it, reviewing it, talking about it, um, talking shit about it, <laughs> I guess. I don't know. Depending on how it is. But all the games that I named are definitely, you know, top-hitting games. All those games are going to be great. And there's no doubt about that, honestly. But like I said, hit that thumbs up and subscribe for more content. I've been Tiger Knee Crush, a.k.a. The Gold King. Stay gold. I'm also going to be continuing on with my Kingdom Hearts playthrough, so stay tuned for that. And I might also bring some um, some other games as well to the channel, so you know. Uh, again, thank you to you subscribers. We're almost at 2,000 subscribers. You guys are truly golden. Cannot tell you that enough. Stay gold!